In this video, we will explore more about table views. So what we want to do is to design a to-do list. And in my to-do list, I want to be able to add items and delete items. Adding items will be through a button that is going to take me to another view. And that view is going to take in information and then do what it's called unwinding, which is jumping back to the original view and posting those information in there. So since we need to have another view, let's just create the other view right next to this. And I will look for view controller. And I will have it right here. So what I have here is just a basic table. Like what we did in the previous tutorial, I have um, an array called list and I'm loading the items from that array into my table view. And, it, and it's going to be looking very simple just like this um, so this is what I have I have a label that that's called that says to do first item and then whatever items I'll add are going to get appended right here okay so since I created my other view I need a class for that view so let me go ahead and create a new file and I'll say next so let me call this the post view control so this is going to be posting whatever data to this view okay now let me go back to my storyboard and in my storyboard I need to make this view of that of the post class so I will highlight the view and then I will go and change the class to the post view controller okay let me just look for the class okay both of your controller this is going to be the class for this so I'll be able to connect everything into that class now what I need to do is I need a button right here to take me to this view controller and then I need to go back to the view controller that contains the table so what I will do is I'll just add a button let me have it right here and let me enlarge so you can see what I'm doing I'm just deleting the text on that button and then I will come right here on the button and look for background and for the background I can choose any one of those so I will have this to resemble adding a new item and right here in the second view I need a label a text field and then two buttons one button to post and the other button to just discard whatever item I wanted to post so let me just add a label and my label is going to say item and let's have it item title to have title and description okay so let's have a text field right underneath this and this is going to be where we enter the title another label that's going to be reserved for item description so double click it item description okay and then I will add another text field beneath this to hold in the description so what I'm doing here is I'm relying on a basic description I'm not having uh, more than one line of a description and we'll see later on how we can put some kind of text area that's going to allow multiple lines okay now I need two buttons so let me just have a button here again I will go ahead and delete uh, the text and I will look for background and I need the trash background to trash it so this is for my discard okay let me put it right here and then I will need another button for adding whatever item I want to add so I'll delete the text again and go to the background and look for something suitable to add so if I go all the way down I think there is an add button I can just look for plus yeah and there it is so this is going to be 
my plus which is going to allow me to add the items okay now what I need to do is I need this button to take me to the second view controller so I'll just create a segue by holding control and dragging this button to the second view and saying show okay so let's test this out we should have this working at least and it's always a good idea to test out everything to see what's causing errors so I'm able to pull up this but keep in mind that nothing works right here right now okay so let me go and activate everything in here to activate everything in this page I need to connect them to the post view controller so I'll open up my post view controller right here and on the other side I'll open up my storyboard and let me just take this to the side now what I need to do is I need to connect those elements first of all I'll need my text boxes so this is going to be the, be, to be the title text box and I need the other text box which is going to be my description text box and I'll go down because I need to create the other buttons as actions and um, right here let me just pull this button and create an action so let me call this post button and the other one is going to be my discard so I'll post it underneath this so discard button okay for my discard button I want to do the following I want to let, let me just close this so you can see better okay so for my discard I'll write the following line presenting view controller dot dismiss animated is going to be true and as usual completion is going to be no okay now for the second button I wanted to take me back to the to the previous view controller so I want to jump back to this piece of code eventually so I will create an unwind method and whenever I uh, click on the other button I want to jump back to that unwind and um, you will see what I mean by jumping back to that so I will create an IB action so at IB action and this is going to be a function and let me call this unwind and um, let me call it unwind uh, main okay so it is going to take a sender so I don't need the name of the sender so the sender is going to be a UI storyboard segue so UI I think we just saw yeah UI, UI storyboard segue and for now let me just do a simple thing just printing that I'm back so I just want to make sure that this function works so print I'm back okay and now let me go to my storyboard and make sure that this button is what's going to allow me to do so now if you hover over these I uh, icons uh, post view controller first responder and you see exit so what I need to do is I need to connect this to my exit and, th and then it's going to allow me to choose the method so I will choose unwind main which I just created so let's test this out now if I click the add it's going to take me to this view controller and if I click this it's discarded so this part works and now if I click on this it should print somewhere here I'm back it's printed it so everything works and I'm back to my original view controller okay so this part works and um, in the second video or the next video I will show you how we can send data back